Alrighty, we're back out here working on the fourth gen. Uh, I'm gonna finish the install on the learn suspension kits. We're gonna get rid of this spacer. See what it does to the front coil. So I got the Thurin 2.75 coils for the front. I think 2.75. I already put the radius arms on. I did that the other day. Sway bar, the factory shocks removed. Before you drop the axle, you want to make sure to unhook, mismount it, uh, secure the brake lines. Here's the old shocks and sway bar. Sway bar, lift coils, and the Fox shocks. So, all I got to do now to drop the front axle is take this, this track bar off. Bring you back when I got more progress done. All right, I got the shocks out of the way. Do the 13 millimeter bolt that holds your brake lines to the axle. Track bars off. I should have enough up and downward uh, movement to get this spacer and this coil spring out, and then we'll just swap the new coil springs in. Now I'm using the double jack method, two jacks. Put your jack stands back there. You make sure you gotta have it high enough so you got enough drop. And they should come right out. All right, we got one, one spring out. Uh, we dropped it as far as we could. But uh, we tried to stand on this to help push it down more, but we're not fat enough. That was the old leveling kit spacer. That's the factory isolator that you need. I used some coil spring compressors. Compress the spring a little bit. So you just gotta play with it and see what works best for you. So we should be able to put the new spring in on this side. The new Thurn coil compared to the stock coil on the left. I have the spacer for the leveling kit, so it should be should be about even. And the spacer just bolts. And I got the first spring installed. Just got a half ass in there. Just use that factory grommet. Should just go in. <coughs> Had to use the spring compressors again to get it back in. That's the first one in. Of course, the spring's a little pushed out and needs to be aligned, and the camber set on the radius arms. That's break time. Uh, we got both Thurn coils installed. Everything's pretty much removed. I need to install the Fox Resi shocks, mount them, and then do the Thurn sway bar, track bar. And then I got uh, Synergy suspension, uh, drag link and tie rod end, so. At the rate I'm moving, I should be able to get most of it done today, but this project is fueled by Monster Energy Drink. 
And uh, I'm gonna take a little break and uh, we'll get back at it. This ain't gonna be no in-depth video because I'm trying to get this done. If I was gonna do a step-by-step -step video, heck, it'd been an hour-long video. But, all right, I'll bring you back when I get some more progress. Update. This part has probably been the hardest part, mounting the reservoir shocks and getting them on. I had to trim the freaking wheel liner. Trimmed those with a pair of wire dikes, which took forever. So, got the shock in. You don't have to tighten this too much, just, just enough to compress the grommets. Side coil resi shock. Just want to make sure you don't kink them. And I think next to be the track ball. Track ball on next. Uh, I've been at this. six hours so it's definitely take a lot longer than expected all right another update we got the sway bar on third sway bar and the third track If you're using Thurn coils, that uh, track bar is already adjusted for their lift coils, so there's no need to adjust the Johnny joint on this side. Just put it in. Now you might have to use, I use the screwdriver. The screwdriver on the back side to line that hole while I push the bolt through. So again, there's the sway bar, sway bar and links. So next is the Synergy, and that completes all the fairing stuff. So then I got the Synergy tie rod in, and drag link, I think that's called. Yeah, drag link and tie rod in. Okay, I think I'm done for today. So to recap, Thurn radius arms, Thurn 2.75 I think coils, lift coils, Fox reservoir shocks, Thurn sway bar, Thurn front track bar, and then from Synergy I got uh, the tie rod. drag link. Uh, I need to, I got steering stabilizer I need to put on, but I need to uh, get the wheels back on and have the vehicle on the ground to, in order to install that. So that'll have to come tomorrow. I'm tired. There's the Fox steering stabilizer with the Synergy bracket. I'll do that tomorrow with the wheels on the ground. So, old steering stabilizer, old drag link. That's the one that's the recall. You know, they just weld them together. Tie rod and everything up front. The 
springs, stock springs, the leveling pucks that were on it, factory front shocks and shock extenders, and then your factory sway bar and track bar. Arms are right here. Yeah. Not really a step by step video, but Lord, it took me. God, it's gotta be. I gotta be working on this nine hours, so. Definitely not a fun job.